Today is May 19th, 2020, and Amber has successfully integrated Big Blue Button conferencing tool into Amber School Management as of last weekend. I tested it myself a couple of times, it works great, and this is just an introductory video to show everybody what it looks like. So for the purpose of this video, I'm actually in my own Amber, so this is the real Yantar International House Split Amber system, and I created a test group in the current academic year. It's called Testing BBB Amber Integration, and if you look inside, there is only one student. I basically added my wife into it. I put myself as the teacher for this group. Then I went into the timetable, and right now you can see I'm in the teacher schedule, and I am selected up here. So it's showing my timetable and we can see that there is a testing BBB class about to begin. So this is the regular teacher interface from Ember. Everybody who uses it should be familiar with it. And as any teacher would, I'm going to go into editing my lecture where I can take attendance, put in summaries, lesson plans and everything else. And right now there is a button called online meeting up here. Now for you to have this button available, you need to talk to Ember guys and get separate licenses for each one of your rooms that's going to be hosting online lessons. And then Ember guys create separate servers for each of these rooms. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the online meeting and it says create online meeting. Then I get the message that the meeting has been created and I'm going to click on join online meeting. Now this immediately opens the big blue button client in the new window and there is no installation required with the big blue button. Since I'm the host, I'm going to join with my microphone and now I am hosting a big blue button session. Now at the same time, I opened another incognito window where I went to the Ember website and right now I'm going to log in as the student. So I'm going to go ahead and log in here. And as we do that, there is the My Online Lecture notification now on the student's dashboard. We can go ahead and click on the link for that particular lesson. And in the case of student, it opens up big blue button inside Amber, not within the new windows. And now we can go as listen only because I'm on the same computer. And now I am in as a student. Now, if I switch the window back to my big blue button where I'm being the host, again, I can see that Miliana has joined this particular lesson. Now, there are several benefits to this, which are obvious. First of all, there's no setting up any kind of meetings in advance. There's no logging into a separate service to create meetings. Teacher goes into their regular user interface that they use on a daily basis. They click on create meeting and that's all they have to do. So time investment to create meetings is you know, a fraction of a second for a teacher. At the same time, this brings added safety to the entire system as well. Because everything is run through Amber, only those people who are group members are invited into the meeting. They need to log into Amber, join the meeting, and therefore nobody from the outside can walk into your lecture. So there's no even need to create waiting rooms or anything like that, because only the students from that particular group are allowed to join. The third benefit is that each of these meetings is hosted on a separate server instance, so connection is obviously going to be a lot more reliable, a lot faster, and a lot safer. Now, I'm not going to go into any details about Big Blue Button itself in this particular video, there's plenty of BBB videos out there that you can watch. It's very similar to Zoom with a few more upgrades such as the shared whiteboard or ability to stream external videos. The only thing that I will show is that inside BBB you can actually upload the presentation. Now I've created a presentation called BBB template here just to kind of show you my vision of this shared whiteboard. Now this is a very simple PowerPoint presentation where I put several slides with our school color, with our branding, and there's like one slide for vocabulary, one slide for grammar, a couple of slides for shared whiteboard, and then maybe a slide for homework. Now obviously you can customize these any way you want, you can even just have a blank white page to use as a whiteboard. But I thought that this would be a pretty cool way of using the feature that enables you to upload PPTs into BBB because you can now come in here and put any vocabulary items. Or you can just use the second slide to put any grammar stuff. 
in the exact same way, when you turn on the shared whiteboard feature, you could actually choose a completely separate slide. So when you enable your entire class to use the shared whiteboard, you can actually do that on a separate slide from everything else. So that's a very brief overview of the integration. I think it's pretty straightforward. The last thing that I can show you is we can come in here and say end meeting. And this is going to end meeting for everybody. It's going to return teacher back into the Ember dashboard. The student has now received a message that the session has ended.